Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Thursday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have our second reversed 10 in the week, for the week, and it is the 10 of pentacles reversed. So as I said yesterday, when we had the 10 of wands reversed, the number 10 is about fulfillment. It's about crossing the finish line and completing your piece of work inside of this part of your spiritual journey. Pentacles are connected to the physical realms. So they're about money and abundance and things you can see and taste and touch, as well as an experience of vitality and energy. So it's about the physical world is actually altered in, in the in, in, as we interact with it. So this card shows um, really the ultimate vision of abundance as gold is falling down from the sky on this community below it. And this suggests that when we complete our work in the pentacles trajectory in the physical realm, it does result in an abundance and a sense of blessing that is not only experienced by us, but is magnified out to include lots of people around us. So we are a vortex. We've created this vortex. Our faithfulness and our commitment to walking this path has created a vortex of possibility and potential and, and wealth and abundance for other people. That's when we cross the finish line, right? But this one came to us reversed, just like yesterday's wand, 10 of wands did. And that suggests to me there is something preventing us from doing that. I think one of the challenges of this card is that it can translate in our minds into, I am responsible for providing this kind of wealth and abundance for the people. In other words, I have to dedicate myself and sacrifice myself and push in order to provide for others. This happens when we are better at giving than we are receiving, right? We're good at, at taking responsibility of owning things, of pushing forward, of, of being respo being responsible, <laughs> like taking care of others. That can be whether that's your family, that could be because you're in a job or whatever it is, or, or you're advocating on behalf of somebody else. You're doing something where you're taking the burden of the full burden of somebody else's well-being into yourself. Um, the problem with that is when we do that, when our minds do that and create that paradigm, it's assuming that we are the universe. It's putting ourselves in the position of God or the divine or the universe and saying, uh, based on my own logic, my own reasoning, my own resourcefulness, my own cleverness, I have to provide for multiple needs around me. Um, and when we do that, we forget that there we are not the universe. We are not God. We are not the divine. We are part of a system of magic and love and support that wants to help us. And when we think that way, we lock that system out. Talked about the three of wands reversed on Mon on Tuesday and how, you know, there are res there's resources waiting for us. The universe is trying to support us. But if you think you're on your own, you're going to miss those support systems, those opportunities for support and you will not be able to complete the work. Because if you're going, if you're solely moving forward based on your ability to invest, you will run out of energy. We are not built to do that. We are built to have a balance between giving and receiving. And so the theory of independence, which is very hotly touted um, in America, I will say, is that you know the, the virtue of independence is you do everything on your own, you pull yourself up with your bootstraps, you don't rely on anybody. That's nonsense. You can do that, but you're going to poop out before you get done if you do that. Because we are not designed to be independent. We're designed to be interdependent, to move in concert with the universe, to recognize that, you know, we are not, we are not the whole show. We are a vessel of magic. And that is our job. Our job is to, as much as possible, become a cleaner and cleaner vessel for energy to flow into the world. And we do create. When we do that, we do bring an experience of abundance and wealth for others around us. We help to evoke that, that expansion of energy, not because we are God or we are the divine or we are the universe, but because we know how to work with the universe. And the interesting thing about this card is um, when you're in flow, you already feel like you're here. Even if you're in the middle of the work, you feel like, wow, this is magical. Gold is falling from the sky. I am supported. I am in a, in a happy, loving, resonant universe that wants to help me. And if you live in that long enough, you, you get to the 10 point, which is where other people can feel it too. So as I said, I think it was yesterday, I talked about how you may have, thought, have some points in your life where you had something you were working on and you ended up quitting and then you beat yourself up because you didn't have enough determination or you didn't have enough grit or you weren't committed, committed enough. When really what happened isn't all that stuff. It's that you wore yourself out of energy. You never received any support. And yes, eventually, if you don't put new gas in the car, the car dies down. That's just basic physics. And in the spiritual realm, that physics still applies. 
So it's not that you're not strong enough, determined enough. It's that maybe you're a bit too strong, a bit too determined, a bit too independent. And, and you need to fix that and become more interdependent. Let yourself soften. Let yourself be supported. That is today's card. See you for tomorrow's. Bye.